I get super tired every now and then. I, I do. I, I get mentally and physically exhausted with the amount of hate bandwagons that pop up every now and then. It's always something. You ever notice that? It's something like every other day. If it's not hating on niggas that eat leaves, it's hating on niggas that dress up in dog suits. If it's not hating on people in dog suits, it's hating on some app for children. And after years of mindlessly ripping on people just because everyone else was doing it, my brain unlocked a special ability. The ability to think for myself. Now this ability is powerful. I'm telling you bro, only around, if I recall correctly, nine other people on planet Earth have this power. And after using this power, it goes on cooldown for like 20 minutes, making you susceptible to even the slightest bit of persuasion. Hey, yo, kneecaps, let's go hate on some people who vape. Uh, sorry bro, but I never really gave a fuck about people that vape, so, so you have to find someone else. Aw, oh, damn, bro. Well, I mean, on another note, we're building a time machine to bring Stalin in the present day. You wanna help? Absolutely! Recently, there have been a couple new hate bandwagons that have been popping up, all of which I've tried to not get involved in, but one of them actually caught my eye. Probably the biggest one around right now. K-pop. K-pop is possibly one of the easiest targets out right now, mainly because of how rabid a lot of the fans and stands of the genre are. I, I, I kid you not. Any time of the week you log into Twitter.com, there's always a, a, a group of K-pop stands trying to cancel someone or something. Anyone. Doesn't even matter who it is. I, I, I guarantee if there was a giant asteroid headed for Earth right now about to destroy all civilization, these K-pop stands wouldn't be hugging their family goodbye, calling their loved ones, telling them, hey, I'll see you on the other side. No, no, no. They'd be on Twitter with the hashtag Earth is over party to just laughing, just giggling. Ha! <laughs> No, maybe if Earth stand twice, all life wouldn't have to be eradicated. And for a while, I had to headcanon that K-pop. There, there's no way it's just some sort of music genre. No, no, no. The, the way these kids are acting, it, it's got to be something much, much sinister. A ritual. A brainwashing. A, a sort of abduction where Asian companies just grab women and kids off the streets, wipe their memory, and then strap them to a chair seven hours a day to watch Korean people dancing. Yeah, that's what it's got to be. But then, on a warm Saturday night, a friend came up to me and said, Bro, I, I've been listening to this really cool group called uh, CLC. You want to listen to them with me? I was like, yeah. W what genre are they, man? Rap? Rock? Hip-hop? And he's like, actually, no. It's K-pop. Did you... Did you... Did you... I don't get what's so funny. K-pop? What, what, what am I, some 14-year-old some schoolgirl? <laughs> if you actually gave it a chance... <laughs> oh! seen one music video. <laughs> oh, bro, why you got? Why you? Oh, oh my God! Why? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, uh, 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 So did you want to watch it or not? Sure, bro. I'll watch it with you. So the video starts up, and I'm thinking to myself, this, this is what these annoying ass children on Twitter are hyping up so much. This, I, I don't get it. Is this supposed to be some sort of inside joke that I'm not a part of? And I'm like, bro, you actually watch this type of stuff? You, you watch this time. You, you watch. Huh. What were you about to say? This is the best thing I have ever seen. Now, I finally understand. I might sound a bit crazy, but, but there's an odd feeling you get watching pretty Asian people dance. The sound, the beauty, the finesse, all coordinated, step by step by step, watching their bodies and voices in harmony. And it makes it feel like everything's gonna be okay. It warps you out of reality for a moment as you observe the earth, its people, and all its beauty, and makes you feel good inside. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be the, the, the fattest fuck, bro. The, the, the poorest nigga on the block. The, the, the type of person that, that life just steps and spits all over. The moment you receive that K-pop frequency through your air canal, nothing else matters but the music. In fact, from now on, this is a K-pop only channel. Our first content, K-pop idol tier list. Okay, so starting out at the top of the tier list, we got Sung Hee, Sorn, Jung Young, and Chao. Now, now, I already know what you're asking. Why is Momo in D tier? That's a good question. I've already written up a 65 page edit.